So let's listen to this last part here. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Pentatonic Parallel Part 4, Experimenting. Today we set out to follow up on using two scales, the 2772 and the 3443, and we declared that 2772 is going to be our light scale, representing light shining, and 3443 is our dark scale, representing um, the absence of light, and our overall theme is shadow. And uh, as a first pass, we said from 2772, we were going to use these four chords, which give us uh, kind of an easy set to pick from. And then for 3443, four, three, we said, because there are so many chords there, here's 3443. Four, three full tonality but look at all those there's a lot of those so we said well we'll we'll, we'll constrain ourselves to the tonic chords and and then these uh, dominant chords so that gives us five to work with so that's that's what we did and then we wanted to make musical snippets to listen to we wanted the same melody um, and with different cadences. So when we started comparing them, we realized that um, in order to get the ability to play the same melody against two different scale cadences, we had to find the notes that were in common. And we discovered that the C, G, A, B flat, B, those five notes were in common. So that's our first result. We could work with five notes. So then we worked on a melody, a simple, well, the melody is basically the scale running from the lower uh, neutral note of the light scale. And then the second part of the melody is. So that's our melody. Then we picked the backbone. We said we're going to pick the, the beat. And then to be different, coming down, we would pick the offbeat. And then, then we went ahead and came up with a light cadence, which is these. Those all came from the 2772 seven, tonality, and then we picked from the 3443. Like that. And then, to be really fun about it, we said, well, we'll just combine the whole, both cadences and see what we get. So it turns out that when you do that, we call the first part light, light, which is the 2772. Second part is the dark, the 3443. Four, three. And we put them together to get a shadow. Uh, and we're going to listen to that in a minute. Interestingly, when you combine these chords, that's a three note chord, that's a three note chord, put them together and you get a five note chord. And, uh, and it turned out that there are four things that do that, like that and that, give you five notes. This one gives you only four notes. Whoops. So, so we were having fun. So now we have pentachords and tetrachords, if you will. And if we wanted to really be... Five kind of came up several times today that 
we can't, we had five notes in common between the two scales. These notes do not form a pentatonic parallel scale. We can bet that with 90% certainty. And these notes uh, probably don't either. So it was fun, a lot of fun. So what we want to do is listen now to pentatonic parallel light dark musical snippets model. A dark two liner, I mean a light two liner, a dark two liner, and a shadow two liner. And I'll turn the mic off for that. So our ideas for next steps are to making some what we call timbre tracks and music visualization. Uh, take each one of these lines here or a track and give it its own kind of visual uh, flickering shape. So we'll see where that goes. The other thing we might want to do here is um, experiment with making making the chords last longer slash linger and that might mean we want to put a oboe on it or something so we shall see thank you as always for your time and attention we look forward to seeing you in the next stream and as always keep on streaming <laughs>